Hello and welcome. Today we make Russian kvass. It's the first time I'm making this, so we're learning together. This needs a few raisins that you wash before with some nice clean water. That much a jar, as big as you can have. And some rye bread, preferably dry bread. Or you put it in the oven to really toast it really well. You hear that? That's really solid bread. Perfect for kvass. So the dry bread goes into the kvass. I believe this was a way to use old bread instead of throwing it away. Some sugar also, because there is yeast in the bread that will need the sugar to live off. We're not adding any extra yeast. We need a clean jar, really super clean jar, boiled water and cool down to room the temperature to clean it up, make sure there are no other um, bacterias or funguses there that uh, would um, mess with our uh, experiment here. Make it uh, three, three quarters, three quarters, leave one quarter empty and put the sugar, raisins and the bread inside the jar all together. Unfortunately, I somehow I wasn't able to film this or I lost it i can't remember what happened but you just put the bread together with the sugar and the raisins cover it with a cheesecloth or any cloth you have put some rubber band and let it sit for two days you don't add extra yeast in here the yeast from the bread will start working and digest the sugars ferment a little bit and it gives a nice flavor of kvass it's really hard to explain this you just have to try to make it yourself if you don't have rye bread or this kind of bread i forgot the name i really wanted to save it but i forgot the name um, try to use white bread even put it in the oven really roast it really make it dark not black carbonized just really dark and do the same after two days the kvass is ready and you just strain it use uh, whatever strainer you have maybe you could use plastic but it doesn't really matter and uh, you just pour all the liquid through this and then you put it in a bottle and um, keep it in the fridge once you do this you need to keep the kvass in the fridge it goes in the bottle really easily the color is pretty nice and this one because it's not very much fermented it doesn't have much alcohol in it so it's uh, easier to drink um, that's it thanks for watching <laughs> really nice kvass you really have to try this because it's really hard to explain the taste of it because it didn't have much sugar it's uh, not very sweet and it's actually a bit sour but this is how it's supposed to be like uh, this kvass this is it thank you for watching and i hope this video inspires you to try to make some kvass and let me know if you try it make it and uh, write a comment how it was and how you like it or if you don't like it subscribe like and share and i will see you next time bye